Canon 50mm f095. Originally developed for the Canon 7, this lens has gained critical acclaim and rocked the minds of photographers and creatives alike, eventually gaining the nickname Dream Lens. Introduced in 1961, the lens was designed to compete with Leica in the rangefinder market, as a lot of manufacturers at the time were trying to create the highest speed optics possible. It is constructed of seven elements in five groups, created by a designer called Mukai Jiro. It's a heavy old design at 605 grams. Is there right to take a photo of you? Yeah, oh, fine, okay. no <laughs> this lens is pretty much only for the Canon 7 system. However, it is popularly adapted into the Leica M mount. What makes this lens special? That ultimately comes down to its character, and oh boy, this lens produces beautiful images. No words can deny its signature look. With that, it's gained notoriety for its rarity. Nick, one of the owners of the camera center, has not seen one of these lenses in 30 years. And I achieved one of my dreams, and that was to shoot with this lens. There she is. <laughs> so today we are down Roth Park to test out the legendary 50mm 095. Something I want to say about the lens in particular is that it's just got such a unique character to it. I searched a lot about it online, and it's not a massive amount, but for photo, it's absolutely excellent. And here are some portraits that I've taken over the course of me actually being able to use the lens. The lens itself has such a unique flavor about it. The bokeh is incredible, and for a 095 lens, it's remarkably sharp, and you can't really ask for more out of a low aperture lens. It's become an invaluable part of the arsenal that I have at Camera Center to be able to take amazing looking photos just like sway it about in the breeze just like a little bit of movement like this and then yeah hey gabby hello how are you doing <laughs> i'm doing good good, I'm doing good. How, how are you feeling about the video today yeah. really good we've got some awesome um shots so far so i'm really really happy you've got this down to the ground a little bit more bokeh so just coming to here sir. I said earlier about the flavor of this lens and it very much is lying in the bokeh. It's swirly, it's beautiful, it just brings out a character like no other lens I've tried. And when I first tried it, I was completely awestruck. I went into Camera Center UK and just spotted it in the youth section, just randomly there. And... I was just completely amazed with what it can do. Actually, just show any photographer or videographer these, this lens, they're just going to be in complete awe of it because there is nothing quite like it. You wouldn't guess they're in real parts of the ship. No, no, at all. It looks like a jungle somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I kind of had to save it because it was one of those I needed to have a go at it. you got to bear in mind that these lenses were created before many people that are using them today are been alive for and in many cases some of them can be sharper some of them have much more crazy bokeh and they just are incredible so if you are living in Cardiff or if you want to try out any of these kind of film lenses then either go over to our eBay or come into the store and check them out because some lenses can be absolutely mm -hmm. legendary and if you want to see how excited I was to try the lens out, hey, we do it. The man. <laughs> Look at this setup. Stuart, have you got? Have you got? Have you got the gains today? The gains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> green, bruh. It's totally a thing. Green. On a serious note, I've decided to put the 50 mm now on the NFX6 because we've got a nice long causeway here, and we can get some pretty cool shots. I'm going to do some photos, going to do some video, and kind of look to see kind of how it comes out. I've just got the Ronin RS3 set up here um, and it's really cool. So you've got the monitor bracket here for me to be able to actually monitor the shots and it's just such a beautiful lens. I can't, I can't, like, 
if anyone else is that going to be blown out. Um, and we're just going to do a simple tracking shot down here. How I'm going to be composing the shot, I'm going to keep power in the center, keep it up high, use the natural lines of this area to be able to guide the shot. So it's up to three, two, one, start walking. This lens isn't perfect, but it's the images are just something else. You don't necessarily have as good a close focus distance and it's not got the sharpest infinity focus in them. Yeah, but with this lens, it's about character. It's about the idea of its nickname, ultimately, the dream lens. And it just produces dreamy images. These are rare and the price matches. They're 2,000 pounds usually. However, you can find incredibly affordable legacy glass that performs so, so well. I just want to tell you the purpose of Legendary Lens series. I think there are some really interesting lenses out there and some you may not have heard of, some you may have heard of. This one is the 50mm 095 Dream Lens. I think it's important to start somewhere and start strong and this lens is one of the strongest out there. Next one though, the next one's going to be a little bit special. I've actually managed to talk to you may know him from a lot of the videos, into letting us use the massive and I'm super excited to shoot with it. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more. And if you've got any suggestions on further lenses you want to see on this channel, let me know.